One of the questions that I have on a regular basis is how do I do in my carousels to have the two images that overlaps from one slide to another? That's very easy and I'm going to show you how to do it in Canva. Hello, my name is Sonia Barbier and welcome on Sacralou Marketing, the channel that gives you tips and advices to help your business thrive on social media. Today we're going to talk about Canva and how to create a carousel that has two images that transition smoothly from one to another without having any disturbance in the process. First, what is a carousel? A carousel is a succession of 10 images that you're going to use to deliver a message to your audience. This has been developed by Christo. I mean, Carousel existed before Christo. It was just a selection of 10 images that you could compile in Instagram and that people could go through. But Christo has been the first one to have the idea of delivering a full message from slide 1 to slide 10. And why did he do that? So basically, Instagram is measuring the time that people are spending on your page. And having a carousel is a great technique to have people stop and swiping through your 10 pages. Doing that, Instagram or the algorithm is thinking, oh, this content is interesting. People are looking at it. They are going to push your content to more people because they believe that if people like it and spend time on yours, then other people might do the same. By delivering a full educational content during 10 slides, people are more probably gonna hit the save button. So the save button is that, is that button here. And what happened is when people like, it gives the, mes the message to Instagram that people liked your post, but when people save it, then Instagram understand, ha, huh, this content is so interesting that people want to be able to save it to come back to it later. And therefore, they will consider showing it to even more people. So spending some time building a carousel is a great way to make people being more interested in saving it. And that's a great message to give to Instagram, that your content is interesting enough to be saved and shared. Same way, share here, uh, that button on the, the, the paper plane is a great indication as well. And if your content is interested enough, you have more chances for people to share it with other friends or uh, colleagues. And spending the time building a carousel is most of the time a great way to show value. And it's a good way to have people sharing it to their peers. Now I'm going to show you how to create two slides that will overlap without having a gap in between or without having a, a face being cut. What I mean by that is, if you look at this example here, I built for you on my fake account um, the example. So here, if you look at this little girl on the first page, you see everything is all right. She is lovely and you can see that her face is cut. So you would expect that her face will appear on the other side. Plus you have this indication here on the top that it's a carousel because you have the little square with the uh, symbol below that shows that you have a succession of different images. So here in the example, you see the transition is smooth. That little girl, you don't even see where is the beginning and the end of slide one and slide two. But if you were on this one, you see you have this hiccup and we don't want to have the hiccup. We don't want to have two slides with a face that is kind of not overlapping smoothly. To create my carousels, I use uh, Canva, but some people are also using Photoshop. But for the example today, I'm gonna use Canva. The good thing with Canva is that it's an app that you can use on your iPad, like me in the example, you can use it on your laptop, you can use it on your phone. And the great thing is you're gonna be able to start on maybe on your phone and then transition to your iPad and then move back to your laptop. 
and all the different versions of your project will be saved. So you don't have to think twice, oh, okay, I need to save it and then share it. No, everything is on the drive, in the cloud. For the example here, I'm gonna use the app, but if you would go on the internet and type in www.canva.com, you're gonna see exactly your app. You are going to find all your design, all your folders. So it's working exactly the same way. Now we're on Canva, and we are going to start with creating a design. So you click on the top right button, create a design, and you have design that are already proposed. So you have Instagram posts, Instagram stories. Here by default, Instagram post is 1090 by 1080, sorry, 1080 by 1080. But I'm gonna show you at the end of the video, but for my carousels, I'm using a different format. But knowing that Instagram is a square, you can use 1080 by 1080. Here we are going to start with a blank page and we want to use a background. So you can use, okay, you can use that. Um, and you can put the text on the side. It's very important when you are building a carousel to have a first slide with a header that is very impactful because that's your moment to stop your reader. So you want to have a very impactful header. But we're going to talk about carousel another time and how to build them and make them impactful. For the moment, we're going to go take an image. So you go in photos. You can also use any other photos that either, either you took with your phone or you can go to Freepik or Adobe. You have a lot of online websites that offer videos and photos. Um, I always recommend to use good quality pictures and this is why actually I took the Canva Pro because I, I could have access to way more pictures. Here you have two options. Option one, you can use an image so maybe we can type, um, I don't know, we can type girl and you will have different options. And you see here that little girl, she has a background and you don't want to have the background. So you can use a button here that is called effects. You click on effects and this is available only on the Canva Pro. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can use a website that is called Background Remover, uh, removebg.com, and it will do exactly the same. You will just have to load the image. So here I click on Background Remover, and it's going to remove the background of my picture. So it's working now. So the little girl now is very clear and neat. I'm going to touch the left angle where you have the dot and I'm gonna pull it so I will make the girl bigger and I want to have it on two slides so here I'm on one slide I'm gonna have the other half on the other side so here I have my slide number one now I click on the very top of the image I have three buttons the first one is comments where I can add note. The other one is plus, but plus is gonna create a new slide without copying either the text or the image. So this is not what we want. Or I click on this duplicate button here and duplicate will just create exactly the same image. Now what I wanna do is I wanna click on the little girl and you see you have the rectangle you have the bar here i'm gonna drag the bar to the left to sorry to the right until i see this purple line you see the purple line doom i leave i leave it and now i click on position at the very top so be careful to not click anywhere else otherwise the image will disappear so you see here it's still selected on the right I click on position at the very top and I choose left and now the girl is on the left. I just have to move the text. So if I wanted to have another text, boom, I put it here and I have my little girl now on two images. If I want to see how it looks like one next to the other, I can click at the 
bottom right on the number two and I will see my two slides. See, slide one, slide two. And here you will not have the possibility to check if they are really matching, but you're gonna see that later. If you do not move the images, it's gonna be perfect. Now I'm gonna save it. To save it, I will click on the right button here, so the, the kind of box with the arrow pointing to the top, or I can also click on the bar with the arrow pointing to the bottom. So if I click on this one, you see I have the possibility to either push it down directly to LinkedIn or Slack or Tumblr or Facebook or Instagram, but I prefer to save it, so I say save. And you can save as a PNG, JPEG, a, a, a GIF, but here I will select PNG because it's the highest quality and this is what we want. And I click download. And now the image is the two images are here in my images. Now let's see how we will integrate it in Instagram. I open Instagram and I'm on my fake account that I use for testing purposes and it's exactly working like if you would be loading one image, you click on the plus button here. The only difference is you are going to select the square at the very bottom of the main image to indicate Instagram that you want to load more than one image. You want to load several images. And you have to be careful because by default, Instagram is selecting the first one that is actually your second one. So here in the example, you have the little girl on the left, but I want the little girl on the right first. So I'm gonna have to unselect it select the number one and then the number two I say next up test and share and now you have your little girl and it's working smoothly from one side to the other good that was easy I told you at the very beginning that I'm using another format that is a rectangle format and the reason is you have more chance to be noticed if your image is vertical and takes more space on the feed so when people are scrolling they have more chance to see it than if it's a square or even worse if it's a panoramic rectangle. Now to do that in Canva it's very easy when you do create a design you choose custom size and here you're gonna select 1080 by 1350 and now you see your slide is a rectangle a vertical rectangle so that's the size now you remember on your feed on the feed of your page you are going to see only the square the, I see the suit in full size but if I go to my home page, it's cut. So you have to be careful when you create your header that you are going to adjust so that your header is really the size of the square, so 1080 by 1080. Okay? I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned and that now you know how to have a picture that is overlapping over two slides. If you have comments or questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, like it and if you really really liked it share it now until next time i wish you a very good day and a lot of nice carousels bye